Hello guys, today I thought another, I took the time to think a while and I remembered there's a lot of animals and monsters I have in my collection I'm going to go ahead and take out and show on this video today. First of all, there's the giant, there's the giant troll. Now these guys were very tough and they were enemies of the old castle sets. Now imagine if you had an army of these guys and they were attacking you. They were attacking your castle. In an old dwarf set you could have gotten, you could have gotten like 10 or 20. You would get two of these guys. One that was tan, one that was green. I have both the tan and the green versions as you guys already know. I chose to go, go ahead and get out this monster. Now, he ain't the first big fig ever created. Which, let's go ahead and get out two more. Two old ones that are extremely old and are outdated as big figs and shouldn't even be allowed in this review right now. But they do deserve a, an honorable mention. Now, to get out a minifigure for size comparison. I, of course, will do the one thing I do not want to do at all, and get out, you guessed it, a character from Star Wars. Well, not really a real Star Wars character, more like a homemade Mandalorian bounty hunter. Here you go. There's the character for size comparison. As you guys can see, the Yeti is an inch big, is not as big as all of them, but he's still bigger than a minifigure. So is this guy, and so is this guy. They're all too big. They're big enough that they would pose a pretty big threat to a minifigure his size. I will, whoops, I will, I will keep him here for now. So you guys can look him over. Now, this is not... A, a review on animals in general. This is a review on monsters. So, basically, here's another monster. Oh my word. This thing dwarfs the troll. It dwarfs the troll right here. Look at that. That is terrifying to look at. Imagine being in just a human fighting this thing, but then again, it was Luke Skywalker who defeated it. Anyways, this monster is incredibly big. Hey, that's just plain rude. I don't care. I'm just a big bully. Well, just for being a bully, you don't get any longer of a review. You're out of there. Put you back. Yes, I know. You guys probably wanted to know more about him. Well, basically, he can fit a minifigure in his mouth, he can hold a minifigure in his hand, and he can do just about some stupid things, and that's about it. And yes, I actually don't want to talk about him anyway, so I'm going to quit talking about him just because he attacked a human. And of course... And monsters in general are pretty big. A lot of monsters can turn out to be pretty huge. Let's go ahead and get out an oldest known monster. I mean a very old monster. The original T-Rex. Now it didn't come very big and was basically not very much of a threat actually. In fact, a dragon an old dragon from the old Knight series is a little more op opposing than, than the original T-Rex. Now, I don't have a complete dragon, and so but this will give you an idea of the size compared to a minifigure. Either way, they were pretty big and huge compared to a human. Whoops. Again, I moved my tablet without even meaning to. I keep doing that. Of course, the, now here's the Indoraptor, another dinosaur, another monster that's bigger than the human. He's pretty tall and so tall he gets out of the camera's view. 
Yep. There's your view of him. Very tall and huge. It would be pretty terrifying if you were the minifigure who had to face that thing down in Mortal Kombat. Imagine taking on the um, that thing knowing that you may wind up dead. Of course, the next one, a saber-tooth tiger. Yeah, he's pretty big, but not big enough to be much of a threat. Probably about the same threat level as a lion. Raptor, more of a threat. More terrifying and more dangerous. Let's go ahead and throw her out. Throw blue away. Out of the way. Dilophosaurus, maybe a little more terrifying, a little more dangerous than the raptor, but still the same exact size. Which, which means it's probably no bigger than a raptor. And of course, the Conotaurus. The toast. Yes, that's right, toast. It is toast, as the gaming beaver loves to say. It is toast. He's big, he's buff, and he's mean, and he's big enough that this, this monster would pose a threat to even, to just the minifigure alone, but also he'd pose a threat to probably even, give me a second, I gotta check, I gotta get out the Wampa for this one. We gotta get out the Wampa for size, not the mammoth, the Wampa. Grab the mouth without even meaning to. Yeah, the Womp is pretty big compared to it. But it still doesn't outsize this animal. But the Wampa would probably still be an opposing threat to it. Okay, now for my favorite monster. The Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Big, mean, and powerful. This thing could probably be more of a threat to this little minifigure than any of these monsters combined. You could, and of course, you already seen a video where he beat the living crud out of the, out of the um, Wampa. Let's go ahead and get a, one of the other creatures, out, which doesn't count as a monster to begin with just counts as a animal. It's a big, yeah. T-Rex would be basically a very threatening, opposing creature. And would also has the bite force, two times that of a crocodile. So, one bite on the Wampa, any area on the Wampa would be torn to pieces by this monster and probably even destroyed. And to those of you who try to defend the Wampa and say, oh, it's stronger than it, than it, think a while. How strong is a crocodile to a human? And how strong is a bite force of a crocodile? Now, let's say this animal has twice the bite force of a crocodile. That means it'll crunch anything. Anyways, that's it for today. Comment, subscribe, let me know in the comments what you thought about this review, and TIFN, ta-ta for now.